Hey guys, it's your boy Prayers and welcome to my SummerSlam results video. SummerSlam's kickoff show was Rob Van Dam versus Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose lost the match via disqualification because of interference from our shield members, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. SummerSlam, the pay per view itself, kicked off for the Ring of Fire match. Bray Wyatt at one, thanks to interference from Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. When they took some sort of fireproof blanket thing and put it over the fire, the flames surrounding the ring, and got in and beat down Kane. And after the match, the Wyatt family took Kane off into who God knows where. Then there was the Davis match between Nick Talia and Brie Bella. Brie Bella won. Lost via submission, Natalia making her submit to the legendary sharpshooter. Her, her nothing of note happened in this match. We had the Cody Rose versus Damian Sandow match. Cody Rose beat Damian Sandow when he ended with crossroads. Oops. Cody Rose after the match indicated that he was going to go after the World Heavyweight title. But did point to Sandow indicating that he might want the briefcase before he does that. There was a match between you know, there was a mixed tag team match between um, Dolph Ziggler and Caitlin against Biggie Langston and AJ Lee. Ziggler and Caitlin won when Ziggler hit Biggie with the his zigzag and pinned them. Again, nothing of interest happened in that match. The, now, let's get down to the nitty gritty, the World Heavyweight Title match. A bro, the real, oh, after several oh, punishing moves to the shoulder and arm of Christian, finally made Christian tap out to the cross arm breaker. Could this be the end of Christian? I hope he doesn't retire. But a bird that real is still your world heavyweight champion. Hmm. Then we had the best versus the beast. He's Brock Lesnar versus CM Punk in what was made into a no disqualification match. Punk did get several shots in at Paul Heyman, and it looked like Punk was gonna win the match at several times if Heyman did not. Stick his nose, who's in again to save Brock Lesnar's hide. In the end, Lesnar won when he hit CM Punk win F5. CM Punk left under his own power, and the people cheered him despite his loss. From the look on Punk's eyes, I can honestly tell you, it looked like he was not done with either Paul Heyman or the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. And finally, it was the WWE title match between Daniel Bryan and John Cena. Yeah, the best match of the night, if you ask me. Heyman, the Lesnar Punk match was a good match in its own right. After a back and forth contest, perhaps the best WWE title match since WrestleMania, maybe even better than WrestleMania. Yeah, uh, Daniel Bryan versus John Cena, WWE title. Ooh. Bryan was constantly going after Cena's injured elbow. Ooh. Oh, and an attempt to try and make John Cena tap out. But in the end, after. What seemed like an easy victory for Daniel Bryan, he hit Cena with his knee, he, and somehow that managed to keep John Cena down for a three count. Daniel Bryan got his celebration in. He shook hands with both John Cena and Triple H. And he went to, on to celebrate, but only for a few moments until Randy Orton came out. With the money in the bank briefcase. He's, he's, it looked like he was just sending a message to Daniel Bryan. To remind Bryan 
that Orton was still around. That Orton still had the case. But when it looked like Orton was leaving, Orton kind of looked back as if to say, was he going to go back? And Brian was, Brian threw down the belt. He was like, come on, I'm ready. And then the unimaginable happened. I don't think anybody in their right mind would have saw this coming. Everyone was talking about Randy Orton turning heel. But the big shocker, the referee, the special guest referee, Triple H, has turned heel. Triple H turned heel. He spun Daniel Bryan around and hit him with the pedigree. Orton slides in. Orton gives Triple H the briefcase. Triple H demands that the battle be run. The match be started. Orton, he didn't have to do anything. It was great. Orton, all he had to do was pick up Daniel Bryan's leg. Triple H counted one. He counted two. And you damn well better believe he counted three. Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another age of Orton. I can't believe Triple H got... I can't believe, of all people, Triple H was the man who helped Randy Orton become the WWE. W.E. Champion. I was kind of wondering why, if Orton was going to cash in, why didn't he come down with a referee? Maybe that was, like, the signal well, that Triple H was going to turn heel, but I didn't catch on. I didn't see that coming. So that was pretty surprising. SummerSlam, I'm going to be honest with you guys, best pay-per-view of 2013. Best pay-per-view in a very long time. Brilliant. Nine mm, out of ten stars. Amazing. If you did not see SummerSlam, please go back and watch SummerSlam mm, for yourself. Please do it. It was an amazing night. Filled with surprises, twists and turns, and a shocking revelation. Randy Horn, the new WWE Champion, and Triple H was the man who helped him. Could this possibly lead to maybe an evolution return? It could be possible. Batista is set to be in WWE 2K14. And we've seen Ric Flair has come back to the WWE in the past couple of months. Could we possibly see the return of one of the most dominating groups in WWE history? Evolution. Randy Orton is your new WWE Champion. Like, comment, and subscribe.